Want to know how to add your Instagram feed to your Shopify store? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how, so be sure to stick around. Hi, my name is Alicia. Here, I share tips, tricks, and tutorials so that you can build your dream online store. A fantastic way to show off your store's brand and products is through your Instagram account. By adding your Instagram feed to your store's homepage, you can build that known like and trust factor. I'm here on my own online store, Love Coco Bowls, so I can show you how I have an Instagram feed set up on my store. Then we'll go recreate it on my mock-up store, Yin and Yoga, so you can see the steps you need to take to add it to your own Shopify store. Okay, so let's just scroll down here on my own online store, all the way to the bottom. So this is my store's homepage. And if we keep scrolling, we'll get down to the bottom here. And just before the footer, I've got what is my Instagram feed. So here I've got um, a title that's just got my handle, so love Coco Bowls. And then here are my Instagram images. The great thing about this Instagram feed is that it uploads as soon as you add a new image to your own Instagram feed and it updates from left to right. So we've got here, this will be my most recent and then so on and so forth. Another great feature about this is that you can actually click into the images. So for example, we'll just click in here and then it'll appear as it would if you were scrolling Instagram on a desktop, for example. So we've got the logo here, our tag, then our description of our image and then our image here. And then it's great because it's got a follow button. So you can click that button and it'll take you to Instagram on desktop. Or if it's on mobile, for example, it'll take you to the mobile app. And then you can follow the Instagram account directly from your website, which is great. So let's just click out of that. So now I'll demonstrate how you can add an Instagram feed to your own online store by doing it on Yin and Yoga, which is just a mock-up store that I've created. So I can test out different things um, in Shopify and then show you how it's done. So we're here in the Yin and Yoga Shopify dashboard. And essentially the Instagram feed that I've got on the Love Coco Bowls website is an app. So you just wanna to navigate to the left here where it says apps. So let's just click on apps. And this is the list of my current apps. As you can see, I've just got the product reviews. Okay, so let's go visit the Shopify app store. So the easiest way to find the app is just by going here to search apps and typing in Instagram. And then the Instagram feed app I used is here, this InstaFeed Instagram feed. Um, it's free, it has 4.8 stars out of five. So you know it's a reliable app to use. And as you can see, it looks quite good on my own website. And as you can see, it looks quite good on my own online store. So just click on that. And then here we just wanna add apps. So just click here. So then it redirects you to your Shopify dashboard. And here it says you're about to install the app. So just make sure that this is all correct and you agree to these terms and then just install the app. Okay, so once you've installed the app, it'll redirect you to this page. And here you just wanna check. So we've got InstaFeed, you are using InstaFeed free. So what you can do, you can add a feed title if you like. I actually like to leave this feed title blank and then add a little description or header within the themes customization itself. Here you can add a posting space. So if you wanted to add a, a certain percentage of spacing in between the posts, you can. I like to leave it at zero. Here on post click, you can have different options. So once somebody clicks on the actual posts, will it open up the actual Instagram post or will it open up Instagram directly or will it do nothing? I just like to leave it as is, so open pop up. The number of rows, so you can customize how many rows or columns you like. I like to keep it as is, so one row and four columns. So you could increase this to five or six or however you like. I'm just gonna leave it as is, so let's leave it as four. So just below that, we need to insert an Instagram access token so that it actually hooks up with our Instagram account. So here where it says get your Instagram access token, just click on here. So what will happen is it'll redirect you to this page where it gives you information about your Instagram access token. Just have a read through that information um, and just make sure that you're happy with it all. And then just say, generate access token. So once you've logged into your Instagram account, what will happen is it'll generate this, um, this code for you. So what you wanna do is you just wanna copy that now 
and then let's head back to our Shopify dashboard. So here where it says your Instagram access token, just paste that token code and then hit publish. And there we have it. So our Insta feed is now auto populated here. So there we go. So this notification will come up. Great job, your Insta feed is published. And a little example of what it would look like just over here to the right. Pretty easy, huh? So now that Insta feed has been added to our Shopify store, we need to actually include this Instagram feed onto our store's homepage. So I'll just go through and show you how to do that now. So just navigate here to the left where it says online store and then to theme and let's go to customize. Okay, so here are the different sections on our Shopify store. So where it says image with text overlay. So this is the section here. And then if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we've got our footer here. And then just above that, we've got our collections list. So collection, collection list here. And if we want to mimic what I've done on my online store, we just want to add that Instagram feed just in between here, the collection list and our footer. So here where it says add section, let's just go ahead and do that. And we want to scroll down to the bottom here and we want to click custom content. So just click on that and go add. And what we want to do, we just want to click down here and we want to delete this content here. So just remove content and where it says image again, we just want to remove this content. So it's leaving us with a blank section. So here where it says add content, just click on that. And what we want to do is we want to add a custom HTML code. So again, we'll just click on here. And in this section is where we want to add the code for our Instagram feed. So to add this HTML code, let's just go back to the Shopify dashboard and find the Insta feed app. And let's just scroll down where it says add Insta feed to your theme using theme editor. So here it'll give you the steps in order to add it to your theme. So here it says copy this code. So just click on it and it'll copy it to your clipboard. And then here to display Insta feed in your homepage, paste the code to a custom HTML section of your theme. So that's what we've already set up. So let's just go back to our theme editor. So where it says HTML here, we wanna just paste that code and then just scroll down. And here where it says container width, just change this 100%. Click save and there we have our Instagram feed. So as I mentioned before, um, here where it says custom content, we just wanna change this heading title to display our Instagram feed handle. So you just scroll to the top here, so where it says heading, I like to put the at symbol, so that's the handle and then love Coco bowls. That way the text here at the top is actually in line with the same text that we've used throughout our online store. So let's just click save. Now let's just go back to our dashboard and let's check out our online store by clicking the eye icon here. So here's our yin and yoga homepage. And if we scroll all the way to the bottom, there we have our Instagram feed all up and working just like it was on my Love Coco Bowls website. So there it is friends, an easy way to add your Instagram feed to your online store's homepage. Pretty easy, huh? If you're looking for more tutorials on how to build your Shopify store, then be sure to check out my video on how to create product variants. It takes you through the steps on how to create product variants such as colors and sizing so your customers can find the exact products that they're looking for and easily add them to your cart. I'll leave the video here on this screen so you can go check it out and I'll see you over there. Bye for now.